let us solve concepts concepts of physics textbook problem continuation two charges 2 into 10 power minus 6 coulomb and 1 into 10 power minus 6 coulomb are placed at a separation of 10 cm where should a third charge be placed just that it experience no net force due to these charges that means we have given two charges let us assume first charge as q1 that q1 we take as a 2 into 10 power minus 6 q1 is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 6 and the second charge q2 is given this q2 is how much means it 1 into 10 power minus 6 so 1 into 10 power minus 6 these two charges are separated by distance 10 cm 10 cm now third charge let us assume that is q if we place where so that no net force no net force due to these charges abdin like that a question is asked so now what we are going to do in the sense that these two charges we are going to separate q1 and q2 we are placing here q1 and q2 we are placing here they are separated by the distance we assume that this is the r distance we assume this is the r now third charge we are placing here this third charge placed there from first charge how much distance in the sense x distance we have to assume and the third charge from second charge is r minus x distance we take r minus x distance we have to take now force ex experienced by first charge by on third charge if you assume in this direction this f1 then a second charge will be experienced on the force on the second third charge is f2 in this direction here f1 and f2 must be equal and opposite so that net force on the third charge will be zero so force on the third charge by first charge is k q1 q divided by x square that is equal to force experienced by second charge on the third charge is k q2 into q divided by r minus x whole square now we can cancel here k and k this q this q we cancel now r minus x divided by x whole square is equal to we are getting q2 divided by q1 from this r minus x by x is equal to square root of q2 by q1 we know that q2 value is 10 power minus 6 q1 value is 2 into 10 power minus 6 by rearranging this this one r by x minus 1 we will get that is equal to q2 is 10 power minus 6 q1 is 2 into 10 power minus 6 now we can cancel this 10 power minus 6 so that 1 by 2 1 by root 2 we are getting so r by x is equal to 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 plus 1 r by x is equal to 1 by root 2 plus 1 now x is equal to x is equal to r divided by r divided by if you take this lcm so that root 2 plus 1 whole divided by root 2 it will go up r value is 10 cm so 10 into root 2 divided by root 2 plus 1 root 2 plus 1 by simplifying this one we will get 5 point we will get actually by simplifying this one we will get nearly 4.1 4. by simplifying this one we will be getting 5.9 cm that means say uh, third charge should be placed third charge should be placed uh, at a 5.9 cm distance from the greater charge because q1 is the greater charge so that first third charge should be placed 5.9 cm from the greater charge so that net force on the third charge due to these two charges will be in equilibrium let us go to next sum suppose the second charge in the previous problem is minus 1 into 10 power minus 6 locate the position where a third charge will not experience a net force so here we have to take two charges are opposite in sign two charges are opposite in sign that means here q1 is given that 2 into 10 power minus 6 and q2 q2 is Minus one into ten power minus six. In this case, the third charge should be where should be placed. It means right side of the right side of the lower charge we have to place. Then only it will be in equilibrium because third charge we assume Q three. Here second charge suppose Q three if we assume positive, then second charge will experience attractional force. This is F two. So first charge will experience repulsive force F one. this must be equal and opposite in the sense this q2 is small charge so that q3 is near to small charge is there then only force can be balanced by the greater charge so that for this 
question this third charge should be near to second charge so the third charge is x distance from the second charge we assume already we know that distance between first charge and the second charges are, are so that uh, distance of the third charge from first charge is uh, we are taking r plus x in this case force experienced by first charge on the third charge is equal to force experienced by second charge and the third charge but in opposite direction so what is the force formula means k q1 q3 we assume as q3 i take as a q3 divided by first charge and third charge separated by distance r plus x so that r plus x whole square that is equal to force experienced by second charge is k q2 q3 divided by x square now we can cancel k cancelled q3 also cancelled now we are writing this one here x divided by r plus x whole square by rearranging that is equal to we are getting q2 by q1 q2 divided by q1 we are getting so x by r plus x is equal to square root of q2 by q1 square root of q2 by q1 this one by rearranging we can get x plus r divided by x is equal to is equal to root of q1 by q2 square root root of q1 by q2 square root we are getting now here this one we can write 1 plus r by x is equal to root of q1 by q2 now r by x is equal to root of q1 by q2 minus 1 so here q1 is 2 into 10 power minus 6 and q2 is 10 power minus 6 we have to take magnitude only minus 1 so by cancelling this 10 power minus 6 we are cancelling root 2 minus 1 we are getting so from this this is r by x x is equal to we are getting r by root 2 minus 1 x is equal to we are getting r by root 2 minus 1 by solving this one we will get 24.1 centimeter that means from lowest charge 24.1 centimeter from higher charge from higher charge how much distance if we take listen here this is 24.1 centimeter from higher charge where we want from larger from larger charge larger charge third charge should be placed at what distance means r plus x r is 10 x is 24.1 centimeter so that we are getting 34.1 centimeter from the larger charge on the line joining the charge in the side of the smaller charge let us discuss next sum two charged particles are placed at a distance one centimeter apart what is the minimum possible magnitude of electric force acting on each charge here we have taken E two charges are separated by distance one centimeter. So distance is equal to one centimeter. That is converted into meter means ten power minus two meter. Minimum possible magnitude of force. That minimum force we need to find. Minimum force means charge should be minimum. Minimum charge equal to either charge of electron or charge of proton. We have to take that is equal to one point six into ten power minus nineteen. So force formula is equal to K into e q1 is e q2 is e because minimum force should be there so that q1 and q2 are equal q1 and q2 are equal to e minimum charge we are taking divided by r square now we know that k value is 9 into 10 power 9 into e value is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 another e is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 divided by r value 10 power minus 2 meter whole square by simplifying this we will get answer as 2.3 into 10 power minus 24 newton so force minimum force experienced between two particles separated by one centimeter distance is 2.3 into 10 power minus 24 newton here minimum force we need to find so that we take a minimum charge minimum charges smallest charges equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 let us discuss next sum estimate the number of electrons in 100 gram of water how much is the total negative charge on these electrons? So now we are going to take 100 gram of water. In 100 gram of water, how many electrons are there? First, we have to calculate. First of all, we know that in 18 gram of water, in 18 gram of water, Avogadro number of water molecules will be there. Avogadro number of water molecule will be there. That means in one gram of water, in one gram of water, how many how many particles will be there? Means Avogadro number of uh, water molecule divided by 18. 
here question is asked in 100 gram of water in 100 gram of water in 100 gram of water how many water molecules will be there means 100 into avogadro number divided by 18 now number of electrons number of electrons in 100 gram of water 100 gram of water is equal to 100 gram of water is equal to number of water molecules into number of electrons in number of electrons in one water molecule number of electrons in one water molecule means water molecule h2o in oxygen eight electrons will be there in h one electron h2 is there so the two electron totally 10 electrons will be there so that into 10 we are taking now by substituting avogadro number value avogadro number value is 6.02 into 10 power 23 into 10 divided by 18 by substituting all this we will get number of electrons number of electrons we will get number of electrons in 100 gram of water we will get as a 3.35 into 10 power 25 3.35 into 10 power 25 this many electrons will be there in 100 gram of water and one more question is asked what is the total negative charge on this electron what is the formula for charge means charge is equal to n into e charge is equal to formula is n into e so here n we got 3.35 3.35 into 10 power 25 and e charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 by multiplying this we will get q is equal to q is equal to we will get 5.35 into 10 power 6 coulomb so charge total negative charge in the 100 gram of water we will get as a 5.35 into 10 power 6 coulomb let us discuss next problem suppose all the electrons of 100 gram water are lumped together to form a negatively charged particle and all the nuclei are lumped together to form a positively charged particle if these two particles are placed 10 cm away from each other find the force of attraction between them okay now we solve the force first of all we should know how much is this charge charge pre in previous question we have discussed a what is the negative charges of 100 gram of water 100 gram of water we discussed in previous question is 5.35 into 10 power 6 coulomb so charge value charge value is 5.35 into 10 power 6 coulomb this is the 100 gram of water contains totally negative charge this much only positive charge also so that q1 is equal to q2 is equal to we assume 5.35 into 10 power 6 but q1 is negative charge q2 is positive charge they are separated by distance how much they are given in the sense 10 cm 10 cm if we convert into meter means 10 power minus 1 meter we are getting to find force now force formula is k q1 q2 divided by r square Here k value is 9 into 10 power 9. Q1 and Q2 are equal, so that 5.35 into 10 power 6 whole square we take divided by r square 10 power minus 1 whole square we take. By multiplying this problem, multiplying and simplifying this one, we will get answer as 2.56 into 10 power 25 newton. 2.56 into 10 power 25 newton. as force between these charges we are getting answer